Welcome to Canmore. In this video, we're gonna take you around and show you what we get up to. It is our first trip with our two-month-old daughter, Teddy. We're also going to go through why we choose to stay in Canmore over Banff and maybe give you some ideas of where you might wanna stay if you come out to the mountains. We made it. Here's a look at bedroom number one. And I guess this is Teddy's room. Here we come around here. Have a look at the little sitting area. And into the second bedroom. The master bedroom has a king size bed and a little ensuite bathroom. This one has a stand up shower. There is a balcony in this room as well as a balcony off the kitchen. Teddy has had her little bath here obviously and it's time for bed. It's been a long day. We're ready to get some rest and we can't wait to wake up to the mountain views. coming to the mountains we just want to help you decide what place might be best for you to stay so if we're coming in the summer and doing a camping trip we do love to stay in the Banff area uh, if you're coming in the winter and you want to do some skiing and you're not going to be spending much time in your accommodation maybe Banff is right for you especially if you want to be at Sunshine or Lake Louise but if you're coming for an extended time in the winter we do have there is Nakiska here by Canmore and if you just want something a little more relaxed and a little more like home where you can just hang out, that's what we would recommend Canmore for when you can get your own place and just be in a home away from home. We're up here in a different part of Canmore. It's up the Three Sisters Parkway and it is an area with all kinds of different condos and we are walking on the Serenity Ridge Autumn Loop Trail. It's just over two kilometers and it's a paved path. So great for the stroller. We've got our little stroller baby here who's hopefully gonna fall asleep. Sorry, we found one of my favorite things a trail map and Canmore has the best ones so it shows where we are here I think we're just going to do this little loop tonight and we've come to this viewing area where they've built this lookout station a funny walk because on a, you can see our truck over here in the parking lot so we really just did the loop around the school's field here and then up where we were initially through some residential area but it's okay to come and see a new area that yeah. we've never walked around before and be able to push the stroller and let Teddy have a nap so it's always nice to just learn a little bit more about Canmore since we enjoy it here so much. One thing about Canmore they have a, a bunch of amazing restaurants and here we are at a new one today. This breakfast at Coco 70. English breakfast, crepes. Time to dig in. One more thing to love about Canmore, there's tons of great hikes to do and you're so close to Kananaskis country that the possibilities are just endless here. So we're going to do the Grassy Lakes Trail. There's our trail map here. 
So we've just come to the fork in the road where you can either go what they call the difficult trail or the easy trail, which is like an old road. Uh, when we did it last time, the difficult trail was actually closed. Uh, they do recommend that you can you take the easy way up and the difficult down. Recent reports say that there's some ice, iciness on the difficult trail, so I'm not sure if we will bring it up, but we're going to head up on the easy and we'll decide what we're gonna do all for the way down once we get up there. Here's a look at the lower lake. There's some uh, bridges and stuff you can walk at and get to, I think, an upper lake if I remember correctly. So we'll wander around here for a little bit. up to the upper part where it kind of beautifully cascades down below. You can see there's a staircase. You can continue on the hike. We haven't done that. I think we'll do that some summer day. Our little one is starting to slowly wake up, so we're gonna try and quickly head back down and get to the vehicle before that happens. So we just left Grassy Lakes. We saw the second upper lake and the bottom lake. We talked about going down the more difficult trail, we've decided that was a something we're not gonna do while we're holding Teddy. So we are back on the easy trail on the way down. We'll try the more difficult one another day when we are more confident either with baby wearing or maybe someday when she can do it on her own. Or maybe it's just gonna be summer coming up. And I can put yeah. the backpack on with her in the back. Yeah, we don't have to worry about ice that way. That's right. We made it to the bottom. It feels pretty good to have completed a little hike, even if it was uh, pretty easy. We were an hour and 15 minutes uh, total. I didn't stop my watch and um, this one said 3.75 kilometers. So maybe a little less than what they say on the map if you go the easy way both ways. And we had a baby that slept the whole way on her first hike. So can't get much better than that. restaurant as you can see and we had a absolutely great lunch 10 out of 10. Yeah. Show us your smiles. Hey thank you. Good job. Yeah good job. Sleeping Teddy and I are just walking up to elevation place. We're hoping to get in for some public pool time. We've never taken Teddy swimming before. So just the two of us are walking while she naps. Travis found some people down in the parkade who were having vehicle problems. So he's been, um, I guess, helping out. I'm not too sure. So hopefully he'll join us soon. But yeah, we're gonna go. We've never been in elevation place, but we will show you the amazing um, rock climbing walls that they have there as well. We're in the pool and Teddy is swimming for the first time. It's a really nice facility. It's uh, $18. We actually had to buy a $2 disposable diaper because I only had a reusable one and they require two layers of diapers. So for $18 for the three of us to have a nice evening is pretty okay That's with us. pretty awesome. They're actually in the Lazy River area right now. 
and then above us you can see the water slide and behind us they called it uh, what did they call it they called it the beach above and then if you look you can see the big tower the water comes down in the spouts and then there's a hot tub across and then there's a set of lanes that are on this side of the pool and then the far side is all lanes so our number one reason why we love staying in canmore instead of banff sometimes is accommodations so if you're staying in banff you're looking at hotels the prices are high pretty much all year round the hotels are really nice but in Canmore you can find, you can definitely get nice hotels as well or any hotels but the thing we love is the condos that are available. So we rented this condo that we're staying in off of Airbnb and we've got two bedrooms and a really nice living area and kitchen and it, that's one thing that's really nice when you're staying for longer periods of time is to have a full kitchen and just a place to relax and unwind so we do love the option of being able to have uh, a condo type of space like you can here in Canmore. We're not throwing any shade on Banff. We do absolutely love it here. We enjoy coming and spending time here, especially in the summer. We love the campgrounds in this area. So we do certainly stay at Banff um, throughout the year. And in the past, we've also enjoyed coming to Banff like for a short winter stay. So if you're coming for a few nights and you just want to splurge on a nice hotel, that's a great time to stay in Banff. If you're shopping in downtown Banff, you're going to find a mix of souvenir shops. Like just on this one block that we walked down, we saw about four or five souvenir shops that have similar things that are definitely worth a wander into one or two of them. Uh, and then you'll also find a lot of the name brand stores like Roots and Lululemon and Helly Hansen. But there's also some cute little shops like the Big Bear Trading Company. So let's go in and take a look. the mountain views from Banff are very majestic they are beautiful mountains surrounding the town but I do think that the mountain views in Canmore I prefer them a little bit more I love the ranges that you can see from Canmore town so we'll give you a look at what the Banff mountains look like which of course are beautiful but then we'll show you the Canmore ones Falls, as you can see over my shoulder. We stopped here at Surprise Corner, and you can see it's named as such because you drive around the corner and surprise, you get a beautiful view of the Fairmont Banff Springs Hotel. Okay. And this down here is where we just were. You might be able to hear the Bow Falls, which is uh, the falls we were looking at. So we're down at the Cascades Pond uh, rest area. So as you can see, there's a the pond behind me and there's actually a few families barbecuing and uh, there's another family just back having a fire with the picnics cooking 
actually looks like a great idea. Hopefully we get to do that this winter. And then behind us, this mountain, that's where the Cascade Waterfalls Trail is. Maybe one year we'll get to that too. We were just over at Cascade Pond, which is where we saw the fire pits and some people having fires and barbecues. And literally just across the road is a short little walk to Cascade Falls. So it's just about one kilometer. We've never done it before, so we're gonna check it out. walked up to Cascade Falls. It was an adventure. It's, a it's uh, something where you need crampons on when you're coming in November. Of course I didn't bring mine but Becky's got her new boots on and they've got flip over ice picks. You'd have to see them to believe them. But uh, yeah it's just like three guys at the top throwing a five gallon pail of water at a time to over the edge so that's what to expect. It's a nice walk through the trees, but it's getting a little dusky, so it's time to head back to the truck and decide what we're going to do for supper. Will we stay in Banff for supper, or will we head back to, Con to Canmore and to the condo? We're not sure yet, but the decision will soon be made. We've uh, ended up going to the Bear Street Tavern like always. It's our number one place to go all the time. We're here, we've got our Big Bird Pizza, we ended up going with, uh, they have $10 steins for beer tonight. It doesn't matter anything on draft. Like always, it's just a number one of ours. We love it. Morning, we're out here just for a tiny little stroll to one of our new favorite photo spots. Because breakfast which is poached egg on English muffins with salsa, guacamole and then the hash browns on the side. Trav, what did you get? We got the standard omelet here. So we got We've just stopped at Fergie's Bakery, picked up some bakery items, cookies, banana loaf, uh, homemade uh, Boston creams. They've got it all in there. Be an excellent stop when you're first uh, on the way into Canmore. We're still over here north of the highway on this side of Canmore. Just walking around, checking the area out. Okay, so we found a spot that's pretty good to show you what I'm talking about, about the the mountain ranges that surround Canmore and just every time you look outside even on kind of a gray day they just are so beautiful so let's take a look okay we spent so much time up on the hill here now we can stop at Bell Bella pick up something for lunch you can see Trav in there I think he's getting some soup started out as a food truck here in Canmore and now it's like a full service deli and tons of lunch options we love, love, love walking around Canmore. We're just off of Kananaskis Way here, and we've got these cool signs. We're 14 minute walk to the Big Head and downtown Canmore. I'm gonna show you the Policeman's Creek Boardwalk. We 
followed the Policeman Creek from the Spring Creek area and we are now officially on the little boardwalk here. So you can see it has beautiful views of the mountains. Uh, the sun just came out and is shining. We're just out for a little walk here. It's so beautiful. So we're gonna head all the way down the boardwalk to the downtown area. Spent the afternoon again walking around downtown. Teddy had a great nap in the carrier. Uh, we love to be down here with the coffee shops, the bakeries, the shops you can pop in and out of. Uh, and of course, just to be able to look around at our surroundings and be outside is a great feeling. So this is the end of our time in Canmore, but we do have lots of other videos for Canmore and Banff. So check out our YouTube channel. Uh, you can like this video, you can subscribe to our channel, and thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.